ChatGPT apps might be the biggest opportunity to make money with software in the next year. Now ChatGPT has 800 million users and they are just about to launch their app store where anyone can build apps that will show up in ChatGPT when people do a task related to them. So in this video, I wanna show you exactly how I would find winning ideas for ChatGPT apps, how I would monetize those winning ideas, and then how I would build and launch those ChatGPT apps so that they can go live when ChatGPT releases their app store. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. For the last 15 years, I've been designing apps and advising startups on product and design. And with that said, let's jump straight into finding your winning ChatGPT app idea. Build great products. Build great products. So today I'm gonna to break down exactly my process for thinking about ChatGPT apps, how to find a great idea for a ChatGPT app that people are actually gonna be able to find on the ChatGPT app store, how to monetize that idea and turn it into actual paying customers, and then how to build and launch that app idea using the latest AI coding tools like Claude Code, like Codex. And so let's get into finding your ChatGPT app idea. So the first thing we have to do is find an idea for a ChatGPT app that we're going to build. And the starting point that I think is going to work really, really well for a ChatGPT app are simple multi-step tasks that have a clear result that can basically be wrapped in like a small user interface widget or like a small kind of mini app that would be embedded in ChatGPT. So how ChatGPT apps work is basically as a user of ChatGPT, when I start asking it to complete a task for me or to perform an action or give me some sort of information, if that action or task could be better completed by using a ChatGPT app, then ChatGPT will essentially suggest that app to the user without them even knowing about it. So imagine if you had the opportunity to get your app in front of 800 million people using ChatGPT every single week. That is the power of this distribution opportunity and why I think building ChatGPT apps is a super smart thing to think about doing. And if you've already got an app that you're building, you can actually just build a ChatGPT app kind of on top of your existing app as well if you wanted to. So let's think about what would work in ChatGPT as an app. So simple multi-step tasks with a clear result. And I think the reason why these kind of simple multi multi-step kind of tasks with queries or research to find information and provide you with an answer to a question are going to work is because there are tons of pieces of content out there already helping people to go through these kind of multi-prompt workflows to get to a really good result. And I think where there's an opportunity with ChatGPT apps is to kind of combine these multi-prompt workflows into a single app that can perform that task for someone without them having to know exactly the five or six prompts that they need to go through to get to the result that they want. So here's why this is gonna work. It's frustrating to prompt multiple times to get a result. I don't know how to get the result, the best result as a user. I don't know the series of prompts that I need to do. I would have to go away and research the right series of prompts to get to that result. And I don't wanna do any calculations or find any information myself. I don't wanna go and search through my emails, like can you build a tool that would connect to a user's email account and pull specific information out for them to give them a result for something, or connect to their Google Sheets or Google Drive or anything like that to kind of find information for them and then give them a result that they're looking for. And I don't want to go anywhere else. If I'm in ChatGPT, if I'm in my workflow and I'm having a conversation with ChatGPT, I kind of want to stay in ChatGPT. And that is why ChatGPT are building and releasing apps. So let's think about some examples that could work really well here. So I've got two examples here, but I think these are probably just average examples I could come up with before filming this video. And there's probably a ton more ideas in this space. And I'm actually going to give you a prompt just to come up with better ideas than this that you can just copy and paste. It'll be in the description for the video down below. So an example of this would be like, find my credit score. So an app in ChatGPT that would help the user find their credit score. Now, the chances are that an individual building this might not get this as much visibility in the App Store because it might be built by bigger companies, but you have an opportunity right now to get in before any old school, slow moving companies actually release their own ChatGPT app. You have a chance to get in front of millions of people by doing these simple apps. So imagine an app in ChatGPT that could help me find out my credit score, and then that would lead on to how do I improve my credit score. So then this is the step that we're going to get into next. We're going to talk about how to monetize these apps as well, how to actually turn them into customers where you can make money. So another idea here would be 
quotes for different jobs. So think about if I want to get my bathroom renovated, then I would say, what would be a quote for renovating my bathroom based on this set of information? And then it would give me a rough quote. Maybe it would be a form where I put in all of this different type of information, or it would allow me to take a photo of my bathroom, for example, or give it some products or some direction that I wanted to, to get me a quote. And then that would lead into finding the best person to actually do that job in your local area. And so again, that's the monetization part of this which we're going to go on to in a second here the prompt to actually find ideas here i've just written this out and you can copy and paste this into ChatGPT or Claude or whatever LLM you're using basically says using the SDK for ChatGPT apps and the SDK is just a software development kit if you don't know it's basically the development kit the guidelines for actually how to build a ChatGPT app so using the software development kit for ChatGPT apps here and then provide it with the URL so most LLMs are able to go out and read web pages now so you're just giving it access to all of the documentation for the ChatGPT apps help me come up with simple app ideas that solve a step-by-step -step problem in your industry or interest. So just copy and paste in or write in there the industry that you work in or any sort of interest or hobby that you have. Work with me step-by-step -step to plan a one feature MVP and MVP means minimum viable product. So that's the minimum smallest version of your app idea that could actually work that solves a clear problem with a high search intent. And we want a high search intent because we want to create apps for a thing that people are searching for a lot because that is going to get the most amount of attention on our app. So let's go on to the next step here, which is how to monetize your ChatGPT app idea. Quick break in the episode to talk about my community for people building apps with AI. It's called the AI App Builders Academy. Inside, you'll learn how to plan, build, launch, and grow a profitable app with AI in just 21 days. And you'll also get access to more advanced courses like how to build with Claude Code, how to build mobile apps, how to build AI agents, and more with new lessons being released every single week. On top of that, you'll also get over $3 million worth of AI deals so that you can start building at zero cost and also access to our weekly Q&A sessions where you can get unstuck on your app building journey. And if you sign up to our VIP annual plan, which is offered at a 60% discount, you'll also get access to monthly group coaching and workshops as well as our community demo day where you can pitch your app idea to me and other VIP founders to get business and strategic advice on your app. This community is full of people building real applications with AI and getting real paying customers. And this is the lowest price that it's ever going to be because we increase the price for every 50 members that join the community. And so if you want to lock in your price and start building your app business today, then just head over to school.com forward slash AI apps to find out more. I'll see you there. So if you want to monetize this app idea, we're going to think about is the paid execution of a task from the result that your app has generated. So that's why I had the two arrows down here to this next step. So if you're giving a user a credit score rating, then the next step would be steps to improve their credit score with maybe progress and tracking. And that's going to provide ongoing value for that user and actually make them want to pay. It's a very easy process to say, well, now you've got your credit rating. Here's a way that you can actually improve your credit rating. And if you pay for access to this app, we'll give you the exact steps based on your credit score and based on connecting your bank accounts or however you want to kind of build that app to actually improving your credit rating and giving you actionable real advice. And the reason that I think this is going to work for monetizing a ChatGPT app is basically because it creates a natural next step in the journey for that customer. It's easy to see how you would go from that first kind of calculation or multi-step flow into something that's more like tracking progress or providing you with support or actually doing something over time that is more valuable to actually solve that thing, not to just give the user information. It also creates a clear outcome for using your app. So it becomes really clear the value of using your app and what the user is going to get a really tangible outcome for that user. And if you can make that super tangible, like say, improve your credit rating by this number of points in this number of days, then that makes it even easier for the user to move on to actually paying to use your app. It also gives users a reason to subscribe or pay, which is to access the thing, the ongoing progression. And it has a really low level of friction because they're already invested in finding out that information. So it already feels like they're part of the way through the progress. And what I've learned from designing apps for over 15 years is that if you're doing any Anything with progress, any sort of journey, basically, if you can get the user a little way there, 
part of the way there, then they're much more likely to actually complete that process rather than just starting from scratch. So this will mean that more people are more likely to convert at that point as well. And I've created a prompt here for you to actually do this as well. So it says, based on this ChatGPT app idea, help me come up with simple ways to monetize this app from the initial experience into an ongoing subscription that a user would get continual value from over time or a one-time purchase that would deliver even more value than the initial app use. And you can copy and paste that into ChatGPT and I'll put it in the description for the video down below as well. And that will help you figure out how to monetize your ChatGPT app idea. Now let's go on to the next step here, which is the build. How do you actually build a ChatGPT app? Well, ChatGPT have launched their software development kit for this, which you can access just by going to this URL that we posted earlier, developers.openai.com forward slash apps dash SDK. That's gonna give you all of the guidance that you need to actually build your app. But what if you're not technical? What if you don't know how to code and it all seems like a lot of jargon to you? Well, the first step here I would suggest is to get Claude Code to create a plan for you. If you haven't used Claude Code or you don't know how to use Claude Code, then go to the Anthropic website to install Claude Code. It runs in your terminal. You just copy and paste the command into your terminal, install Claude Code, and then you type Claude to run it. Once Claude is running, you do shift and then tab to go into plan mode. Ask Claude Code to help you to create a plan based on the documentation. Copy and paste paste the URL for the ChatGPT apps SDK into Claude code and then press enter and it will basically go through and create a full plan to build your ChatGPT app and run it locally so that you can test it. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do after you've built it and gone through that plan with Claude code is to test it in ChatGPT and then package it ready for launch day. So I've just created a prompt for you to put into ChatGPT or any other LLM here as well. And you can actually just get started by jumping straight into Claude code if you want to and get it to create a plan. And this says using the SDK for ChatGPT apps here. And then you've got that URL again for the software development kit. Help me build my ChatGPT app idea. My app idea is, and then you paste your app idea in. Help me figure out step by step how to build this and create a prompt for Claude Code to get me started. And that is going to give you a prompt that you can put into Claude Code in plan mode to help it figure out exactly how it needs to build your ChatGPT app. And the reason I like doing it this way is because whatever LLM you're using, whether it's ChatGPT or Claude, if you use this prompt, it's going to create a better prompt for you with clearer instructions based on that software development kit rather than you just going straight to Claude code and putting in a really vague prompt to get started. So that is how to build your ChatGPT app if you want to get started with it. The next part of this is the actual launch. So how do you launch your ChatGPT app? Well, the ChatGPT app store isn't going to go live for another couple of months, at least maybe a month. I'm not actually sure, probably at the end of this year in 2025. And so we want want to be ready for when ChatGPT actually launches the App Store to get our app on the App Store as soon as we can. And that just means building it, testing it, making sure that it's ready to go, and then getting ready for ChatGPT to actually launch the App Store. And then when they do, to have it kind of all packaged up and ready to actually launch. And you're going to want to be ready for a few things here. If you are launching on the day that the ChatGPT App Store goes live, you're going to want to be ready for customer support, to address any initial bugs, and to iterate on things to improve visibility and improve the chance that ChatGPT is going to auto suggest your app to people basically. Now there are ways that you can do this and if you go through the SDK in a bit more detail you can see all of the parts of building a ChatGPT app and actually learn a bit more information about how to improve these things and how to understand what's happening with your ChatGPT app but those are my four kind of steps to creating a ChatGPT app that actually makes money, finding an idea, monetizing it, building it, and then launching it when the ChatGPT app store goes live. So hopefully you can see how big of an opportunity ChatGPT apps is, and hopefully you get an idea of how you can go through that process of finding a good idea, monetizing that idea, building it and then getting ready to launch when the ChatGPT app store actually goes live at the end of this year. And if you are interested in learning the process to actually build this, then you can go over to my community at score.com forward slash AI apps, where I've got a course going live very, very soon on exactly how to build ChatGPT apps. Step by step, I'm going to walk you through the entire process and you'll be able to learn exactly how to get your ChatGPT app ready to go. And if you are just getting started with building apps with AI, then you can also go over to that community to learn how to build and launch your app in 21 days as well. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Build great products. Build great products.